Welcome everyone and especially to all of our new subscribers. The rollout of the uh, Grain Weekly updates has gone exceptionally well and we want to thank all of you for that. Our aim is to be as concise and to the point as possible. We want you to know why we think what we think. Before we get into the analysis here on this May bean chart, we're going to go over some of the basic rules that are under on our website under Fibonacci guidelines. Uh, the golden rule of these, 38%, is the most important, and it's the level we use for the golden rule. This rule being any market that is going to keep its current trend must hold 38.2%. As long as it does, the trend will continue, and it should make new highs lows from that retracement. 61.8%. Uh, whenever the market holds 61.8% of a move, look for it to go 61.8% the other way or of where it just came from. This usually happens when a market is directionless and or in a consolidation period. The 23% rule is extremely strong weak markets will only go back to 23.6%. This is typically a runaway market. And then the 78.6% rule. Any market that hits 78.6 should go 78.6 back the other way. This is also where a lot of bull markets end and start. So having those basic rules, which I'm going to go over pretty quickly here and just kind of show you what has been happening in the May beans going back to uh, last year. And uh, as we say, you can get all of those on the website. So we're going to make this thing come out a little bit bigger. Those of you who've been following us know that uh, from the fall of 2000, 2020, uh, we've been saying that we think there's a possible multi-year rally coming. And that uh, as long as this market holds the long-term swing point, which going back to the 38% rule is uh, the most important. So as long as that level is being held, that's where the market's going. So this is the long term here, our long term swing point. But before we even get to that, we're going to take this from the high made back in July, June of last year. Now, the first break that came off was uh, quite, quite big. I mean, it was a $2 break. Now, there's a couple things you'll have to watch. One, we didn't get down to the 38%, which means bigger picture, even despite that monster move down, uh, we're still not uh, changing the trend here in the long term. Secondly, we're going to watch after something like that some, where this market goes up to. So just again, this market rallied right here. You can see it 38%. Now, that's not a good sign when... Uh, I mean, because just in reverse, the market should go make new lows. And that's what you would be looking for from there. And then this goes into the second part of the 38% rule. Any market that fails to make a new low or a slightly lower low can turn the market back up. And 61.8 would be the target the other way. Well, as you can see here, this market hits 61.8 down here. And then exploded back up. And where did it go? But 78.6%. Now, this one, um, again, where should 78.6 go? But 78.6 the other way. In this case, that's exactly what it did. It could have been the end of this whole move, too, as the second part of the rule says. And uh, what it did do was it did go make a new low. But that'll get into something else in a minute. Uh, so we go 78.6 back to that 78.6 and you can see it, it just even every one of these little moves in here just uh, is hitting a retracement. So we go from 78.6 we go to 38 point cents because we got a new high here 38.2 right back down here. So you see it there and then from that where did it go 78.6 again up on top still saying that uh, this thing can come lower uh, this next rally or this break here took it down to 61.8 back up to 78.6 and then down 61.8 of the bigger move here 
Where did 61.8 take us? But 61.8 back the other way. Again, all you're seeing here is that it's taking one retracement up on top, another retracement up on top, that, but each one of these getting lower and to a lesser degree. So 78.6 was the rally. Now it's 61.8. Uh, it is holding levels below, and this, you know, you're just getting into a choppy market. But then they make the new low, and this rally, all it can do is 38.2%. So what should happen from that? New lows. New lows follow. Come down, don't get back up above 38%. Now here we are in this one where it makes that new low. And now we can't even get to 23%. Or actually, we did. It makes a new low. So just, just showing you that all of these things are measurable and uh, it just lets you know just how weak or strong the market is. So now this market comes back, makes a high. We'll take this. Let's take a look at what we did here. Um, so this rally or this rally from this low that just missed the long term swing point went right to. 38% here again what should happen new lows okay that's exactly what did happen so now we make the new lows but and this is what's so important to know the long-term levels in here is this was 38 back of the contract high and low and the key level to keeping that whole multi-year rally going in effect so this is what we hit. Now, there are times where this market can just blow out of here and not find another retracement uh, for a long time because it's such a, a pivotable, pivotal, pivotal point and important. So here we go, 38 back. Never a good sign to be stopped by 38% of a smaller move versus how big the move was to the downside. So now we have right here, we're looking for new lows. But again, what does it do? Fails to make that new low. And this is the 78.6. Now this is, uh, as important as 38.2% is, 78.6 can give you some of the most dynamic moves um, because they're the point where the market is failing to make that new high low and then you get the big move the other way. So uh, do they always work? No, but when they do, it sure tells you that something's changing in direction. And in this case, from 38%, still above the long-term swing point, goes to 78.6, and then the rally starts. Now, as you see here, this thing really just took off. Only had one minor setback here of 23% from the long-term swing point to here. Again, not unusual to see explosive moves once you've come into those long-term swing points. Now, we couldn't even catch or get to a, a retracement back here on any of these things, on these setbacks, but uh, we did hit the long-term target for other reasons. That's 1765 up on top, uh, giving us a little warning of... Uh, a, Bigger move to the downside could happen from this level, but as we've said before, we haven't seen anything that has done anything negative in the retracements other than we hit 78.6. So our the question is, is this 78.6 the same as this 78.6 down here? Now the first target of 78.6 is 78.6 the other way. And uh, so we're still looking for 1612. Now, if that's all this can do, and or come down here into the 23% to the contract low and 38% back to the long-term swing point, and then we also have a GAN line there, but um, this would keep the market extremely positive still. But if this is something that turns the market just as it did down here, you could be looking at the long-term swing point down here at 1405. 
Now, um, again, if all we can do is 78.6 here, this thing still remains incredibly strong. And our long-term target is all the way up here at 2003. So um, one other thing to give you a look at here is the, where is it, uh, the May wheat. Okay, we swing this thing back out. You know we had the long-term swing point back here. Um, that's what it sent this market on, an extreme rally. Now this one already came back to 38.2%, went to 38 back the other way. Uh, never a good sign, as we say, because that's a smaller move compared to the bigger move. Made a slightly lower low, which really should have given us a target of 61.8 because um, we already reacted from 38.2. But you always have to watch 38 again um, just because that was the short-term swing point, as we pointed out in our emails, and that that's what needed to be uh, taken out in order to get this thing to go much higher. Now this took us, this break again, took us down through the long-term swing point, close below it, but what it did do is hit 61.82, the long-term swing point. Now if we just follow the 61.8 rule, we should be looking for 61.8 the other way, and this is going to be 12.15. Um, of course, we have to see tomorrow this thing get right back up above the long-term swing point. Let's just call it, you know, I mean, ideally even above the 1059 major GAN square. If we can do that, we'd be looking for that just based on the 61.8 rule. And as we always say, we watch all the retracements because if this market can't get above 38% after making this new low, it's a negative sign or a bad sign. And then we can look, because we already have reacted from this 38%, that we will be looking for 61.8% down here at 839, 840 area. Now, this had an exceptional move, crazy limit ups and everything else. But if we go back out into the DEES, we can see here that... Um, uh, this market's a lot stronger. The long-term swing point is still down here at 870. We hit this 38 and 23 of the contract high and the, um, the lows and went up to 78.6. 78.6 took us to 78.6 the other way. So this could be the end of this break. Um, and we could be going right back up here as long as we can hold this 952. Under here, you're looking at the long-term swing point down here at 870. Uh, on the corn, um, again, here we go with, you know, it held a lot of retracements on the way up. What did it get stopped at? But 78.6 up on top. And now we're looking for 23% and 38% and uh, down here around eight, uh, 687 as long as it's staying under the 734 GAN square. And again, the long-term swing point on a bigger move if this is the end of this run for the time being. These can all take them, all these moves can take it back to the long-term swing point. Um, again, and all that uh, there wouldn't be anything that negative uh, about that. I mean, despite the big move down, did it do anything to the long-term trend? Just as we were showing you in the May beans, how um, the move from here was a, over a $2 move down, but uh, once they hit the long-term swing point, uh, the, the rally resumed, and um, that's what's possible here if this ends up being the thing that <clears throat> excuse me, ends up uh, ending this rally is the 78.6. That's a long-term target and the long-term swing point. Now, uh, 
with these things, we're going to do more of these videos, and uh, some of these are going to be the, the NASDAQ or uh, Tesla or other stocks, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, aside from other grains. And the reason is that no matter what you want to trade, these levels and these, this idea with the whole concept of the Fibonacci retracements is capturing the flow of the market. And that's really what it all is about. That's why we say going back and reading any of the posts that we've had, um, you can just see um, in the NASDAQ where it made a slightly lower low after hitting 38% back in the beginning of March. And how we just said, you know, the target on that slightly lower low was 1530, 15300. That's what they just missed today. That was an incredible move. And this is what's possible when you just apply these rules to give those kind of targets and give you a semblance of what is possible when these levels do hold. And the other thing is when they don't hold, they tell you something too. Hopefully this is helping you and um, stay tuned. We'll be doing uh, more of these. And again, thank you to uh, all of our new subscribers and have a great day.